officials needed to not only determine the sperm whale's cause of death, but also what to do with the 40-foot carcass. Your browser does not support the audio element. Last Saturday, a nearly 40-foot sperm whale washed ashore in Oregon's Fort Stevens State Park. After examining a large gash in the whale's side, officials determined the animal died after being struck by a ship propeller. James Powell is the Rescue and Response Program Manager for SR3C Life Response, Rehabilitation, and Research, a nonprofit that supports organizations that respond to marine animal strandings in the Pacific Northwest. Powell helped determine the cause of death for the sperm whale and spoke with OPB's All Things Considered host Crystal Ligari. Crystal Ligari, when animals wash ashore like this, who responds and what exactly do they do? Powell, the United States is covered by a National Marine Mammal Stranding Network and there are different organizations throughout the country that cover different regions of the coastline. For this case, there's an organization out of Portland State University that's run by Dr. Deb Duffield called the Northern Oregon slash Southern Washington Stranding Program and that's their response region. And initially they have partners at Seaside Aquarium that will often get to the beach sooner to investigate the case and see what they're working with and to secure the area. They can provide some on-the-ground information to the response team and then decisions are made on how to and when to safely respond to the case. A team performs a necropsy on the carcass of a sperm whale on the northern Oregon coast on Monday, January 16, 2023. The body washed ashore two days earlier and the necropsy will determine the whale's cause of death. Courtesy Noah Fisheries Ligori, how did you all determine what killed this whale? Pal, when the whale was on the beach, there was a really obvious large open gash down the side of its body. So we were investigating that and some other associated external signs of trauma to determine what might have caused the injury and if the injury occurred while the animal was still alive or if it happened after the animal had already died at sea. 